Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Today we're continuing our Vlogmas series and we're going to talk today about the ICD-10-CM Table of Drugs and Chemicals. Now this table can be found in your code books right behind the neoplasm table which we discussed on yesterday. So pull out your code books and let's take a look at this ICD-10-CM Table of Drugs and Chemicals and let me show you how to use this. Okay. Now, as I said, this table can found, be found right behind the table of neoplasms that we looked at on yesterday. But the key to this table of drugs and chemicals and how you use it is you have to know what these particular headings stand for. Now notice it has the substance. So whatever substance we're referring to in our diagnoses, we need to know what each one of these headers stands for. So the first one says poisoning, accidental, unintentional, just that. So if a patient comes in and they've got some type of poisoning, whether it's um, chlorine bleach that they accidentally uh, swallowed, um, antifreeze, etc., they swallowed it thinking it was water, it was a poisoning, but it was accidental. The second one says poisoning, and notice it says intentional self-harm. And you know we have our patients that are trying to commit suicide or hurt themselves in one way or another. So we identify that substance first and we use that code pertaining to self-harm if they're trying to harm themselves. But there are times when it's an actual poisoning that's an assault. And a big example we always use with that one is if you're at the club, leave your drink, somebody put something in your drink, that's a poisoning, it's an assault. Somebody tried to harm you. What about poisoning undetermined? And you guys know there are instances where patients will come in and we don't know, did they do that intentionally? When they get there, they claim they didn't, but it's undetermined. An adverse effect is just that. It's not an actual poisoning. It's an adverse effect. It's when your physician prescribes a medication to you and you have some type of adverse effect to it. For example, I had pink eye, conjunctivitis at one time. Did not know I was allergic to getamycin. And that's what the physician prescribed. An adverse effect is a medication that you take as prescribed. You use it as prescribed, but your body has an effect. And I had an allergic reaction to it, so it becomes an ad no, it's not a poisoning, it's an adverse effect. And then underdosing, that's a big one we're seeing now with our elderly community, especially when they're on a tight budget. Rather than taking their medications as prescribed, they're underdosing themselves and that's causing the medication not to work as it should. So again, with this table, ICD-10-CM Table of Drugs and Chemicals, as long as you know what each of these rows, columns stand for, what you do is you identify your substance first, whatever your substance is, and they're in alphabetical order, and you go across this table based on whether or not it was a poisoning unintentional, intentional, assault, undetermined, adverse effect, or underdosing. Okay guys, take some time and play with this table. You'll be amazed what all is in this table. I wish I had told you to do that for the um, table to external causes. You'll be amazed what all is in that, that table. That um, index as well. But take your time and get to learn your table of drugs and chemicals. So when your patients come in with these effects, you'll have to identify was it intentional, was it unintentional, was it an adverse effect, or was it actually underdosing? Alright guys, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.